everybody, this is a video about how to make a SketchUp component that will uh, can be used for windows and thick walls, which will cut through both planes. Uh, I've seen a couple videos where people do this, and that's how I learned how to do it. But I felt like those videos were just a little more complicated than, than they should have been. Uh, had a little bit too much going on, and I wanted to simplify it down to really just a minimal set of things. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's create a little rectangle component that is two feet by three feet. That's gonna be the basis for our, our window component. So um, I'm assuming that you are a relative expert at uh, SketchUp here and understand components pretty well, and I won't have to go through the details of uh, some of the things I'm doing here. Um, but in this component, we, we really just want those four edges. So get rid of the face, and I'll select those four edges, and uh, we'll make a component out of that. And we're gonna call this the cut plane component. And we're gonna glue that to any face um, we do not need to set the component axes because if you build a component on the ground like I'm doing in this case uh, with the red uh, to the right and green forward like that, the blue into the screen, your component axes are set correctly for um, a, a component that will cut the opening, which I am going to uh, set there. Replace selection with component doesn't matter in this case because we're not going to, we're building this offline, but I'll just leave it alone and create that component. So there we have it. We have our cut plane component, which is going to be the basis for um, the rest of the, the other component in here. So let's take one of those cut plane components, just throw it on the ground like that. We'll take another one and put it directly on top of that because what we want to do after we orbit is move it up in the blue plane, the blue axis, six inches so that we can make a, uh, a window component that cuts a wall that's six inches thick. So we now have two cut plane components together, so separated by six inches. And I am going to select both of those and make a component out of those two things. And I'm going to call this the window double plane component, which I'm going to glue to any face. And I am not going to cut openings because we already have two components, which um, will do the openings, cut openings for us. But we do need to set the component axes, as you'll see here in just a second. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to orbit around so that you can see where it chose to set the axes. And you want this to be on the closer planes because it's going to, when you're facing the wall, you want this edge to be uh, cutting the, the wall that you're um, looking at. So we click on this corner, we establish the right, uh, the red edge, and we establish the green edge in that direction. And that's pretty much all we need to do. Again, we're not going to check the cut opening because we have two of those already. So we create that. And now we've got the window double plane component. Let's create a little house, a little box for us to, to experiment with. So I'm going to create a, a rectangle that is uh, 20 feet by 20 feet. And I am going to move our man into that box there. And then I'm going to make it a six inch wall. Oops, six inch wall. And Let's pull that up nine feet. Okay, so our man is down inside our, our box there, and we have our double plane component, which we'll drag off, drop in place, and uh oh, can't see through it. Now, this is the secret that um, the other guys figured out, and the trick is to now say explode that component. And when you do, there it is, you can see right through. And we can even move it around. To move it, we have to make sure that uh, both components are selected because after we explode it, uh, we, we have to be careful in how we move it around. Because let's say we put another one in and we explode that. Now we can move that one around. But if we come back to this one and try to move it, only the front face is going to move. So we don't want that. In order to get it to move properly, you're going to have to select uh, both faces like that. And then you can move the window around and the, the holes move with it, just like that. So it's a little bit of a, um, a little bit, you have to be a little bit careful, but the alternative is to maintain your own holes cut and it, that's a, a nightmare. Let's make a slight modification to our component and see what happens. Double click the component so that we can get inside of it. And let's just add a rectangle on top of there. Now, if this rectangle is transparent, we should be able to see through it. 
We can see through both sides. So with any luck, we should be able to see through it once we place it on the wall. Place it on the wall, explode the component, and yet it does not work. Now let's make one other adjustment to our component. Double click to go inside. Select the rectangle that we just added on top. And now let's move that in the blue axis so that it's inside our component by 0 0.025 inches, just slightly inside the component. Now let's drag one in. Explode. And voila, it worked that time. So it appears that if you, even if you add a transparent component to the outside of your cut planes, it will block the view. So any uh, things that are, it will, needs to be inside your opening needs to appear between the two um, cut planes in order to be transparent. Bottom line is there's a lot of idiosyncrasies with these double cut plane components. I highly recommend making a very, very simple model of your component and experimenting with it first before you go off and build the full-blown version because you will see some odd behavior every now and then. And the simpler you can keep it, the better off you will be.